Restaurant workers have always been there for us. They've worked long hours. They've worked late nights. They've worked holidays away from their families. All to make sure that we're happy and fed. Now it's time to repay the favor. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, millions of restaurant workers have either lost their jobs or had their hours drastically cut. And as dining rooms across the country shutter, takeout and delivery are the last remaining lifelines for many beloved restaurants. So here's our challenge to you. Yes, you. The one in front of the screen. With the hair and the shirt. Lucky bastard. If you can afford it, order more food than you can eat in one meal from your favorite restaurant. Put those leftovers in the fridge and make the most creative dish possible with them the next day. Take a picture, post it to social media with hashtag leftovers challenge and urge your followers to do the same. We've all gathered together to cook with leftovers from our favorite restaurants to give you a few ideas. And click that donate button to give directly to the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation. Your money will go towards direct worker relief, nonprofits supporting the restaurant industry, and zero interest loans for restaurants to start back up again. Why are we still here? Let's cook something, yeah? Fuck it up, 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 let's go. Where you calling, I'm already outside. I know, I see you. Damn, what, is that a box of food? How much did you get? Yeah, you told me to order way too much. I gotta finish all this. I gotta talk to my tax guy and see if I can count this as a business write-off. Anyway, just leave that at the door. Wait, what do you mean just leave it at the door? I'm not gonna let you in. I'm not taking that risk. Where's your mask? Oh, all right. Well, enjoy my sloppy seconds then. <laughs> all right, well, where do you think you're going? You just told me you weren't gonna let me in. That doesn't mean you're off the hook. I left the side gate unlocked and a little workstation for you out back. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Okay, I've got a lot of rice, could definitely make fried rice, spicy chili oil, house made, wonton soup, and uh, something called five happiness pork. So I actually think I could work with this. And this is what disaster prep looks like for a Mexican. I think that I'm gonna give him three chiles de arbol, two anchos, and two guajillos. All right, keep your distance, stay away. Relax, bro, I got protection right here. Okay, well either way, I'm coming in hot. Six feet, six all feet. Right, right. I need you to take these stems and seeds out of all of these chilies. That right, sounds easy enough, done it plenty of times. Okay, well, put some damn gloves on. I'll one. put some gloves on. Well, shit, of course I'm gonna wear some fucking gloves. I won't get chili stains on my fingers. No sticks, no stems, no seeds. All right, I'm gonna get this water boiling. And since we have some of these chili oil packets, I'm actually gonna toast the hominy in that, impart some flavor in it. I am so proud of my boy for choosing little Szechuan for this challenge. Honestly, when it comes to, chef, where should I go out to eat in the area? I'm like a horrible person to ask because I never go out to eat, but uh, little Szechuan, those people have taken care of me and influenced my life way beyond just feeding me. So Swanee and Ted, I cannot think of two people more deserving of attention and support at this time. I don't know if you can tell, but this is gonna end up being like a Chinese-Mexican fusion. So I am mixing some uh, Szechuan peppercorns with whole cumin. I'm gonna mash those up together and season this hominy with that just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Okay, this is boiling hot water. Cuidado, cuidado. Hey, hey, six feet, six feet. I need you to soak the chilies in that. Yeah, 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 I know exactly minutes. where this is going. Okay, smart guy. We've got a little leftover seasoning mix I want you to try. Stick your finger in that and let me know how it tastes. All right. Yo, what the hell is this? I can't feel my tongue anymore. Yeah, you still think you know exactly where this recipe is headed, smart guy? Okay, now that I ate all of the wontons out of this wonton soup, all I need is this broth to warm up. Oh, geez. And this is headed towards a uh, Szechuan Mexican wonton pozole. Since pozole usually has pork in it, I'm just going to pick all the niblets out of there. Okay, there is broth, there is pork, there is hominy. I think all that's missing to make this a pozole is that chili liquid. So I don't have the blender lid. I'm not gonna look for it. I'm going crazy enough in quarantine, okay? Oh. <laughs> oh. Call my doctor, I got shortness of breath. I don't know how much of this I can handle. Let's call that good enough. Now that this hominy is kind of toasted up and dried out, it's gonna drink in a lot of that broth. And we're probably gonna need some garnishes. Armando! Cilantro, radish, jalapeno, white onion. I need you to uh, chop up. Hey, get back to work. Ah, andale, I boy, way, I boy. Chop all this up, please. I need to make some garnishes. Do you remember that Power Man 5000 song? Now this is what it's like when worlds collide. That's the theme song of this evening. Damn, I'm getting surgical with this damn avocado. Okay, a couple of jalapenos on each one. 
some radish, onion, cilantro, make a little fan of avocado, serve this with a lime wedge. And I'll crush up some of these wonton chips. Et va freaking la, my dudes. Szechuan wonton pozole. Well, how does it taste? It actually did come out good. But I can't feel my mouth. So do you think that it's disingenuous for the guy who's always like, don't go out to eat $13 eggs to now suddenly be like, go out and support your local restaurants? The way I see it, there's always gonna be restaurants. I just hope there's other things besides Bar Kings and Starbucks at the end of all this. True. Plus, the entire restaurant industry goes beyond just food. There's flowers, linens, hospitality, undocumented immigrants that are not receiving any stimulus checks right now. So, if there was ever a time, now is probably it. Well, even through all this, Swanee still hooked it up with the sake bombs. And I can't think of someone I'd rather be six feet away from. Con Corona, way? What do you even call this? Uh... Saki Juan? <laughs> <laughs>